Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So, I am in France. I arrived in Paris a few days ago, and I'm going to be shooting for the next two months. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of vlogs to show you how I take my photos and how I retouch it. This is the first of this kind. And today, I'm going to go to the south of France, to Valençol, close to Aix-en-Provence. You know, very nice, beautiful area. And we're going to be shooting the lavender field in the south of France. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've tried to do it many times, but every time I came too early or too late, I think this time I'm going to be right on. It's like some of the, my bucket list that I've always wanted to do. So come with me in the south of France and let's take some photos of the lavender fields together. All right, so we arrived in Aix-en-Provence, and now let's get a car and let's get to the lavender field. All right, so here we are. I was afraid there was no lavender, but check this out. So to start with tonight, I'm going to start with the classic shot that everybody's getting. It's there's full of people here tonight. It's a classic view with a lonely tree and with, you know, the, the whole curve. And, you know, it's kind of like going to Paris and not getting the Eiffel Tower. Tomorrow morning at sunrise, we try to get something more original. But tonight we do the classic. OK, so tonight I'm going to try for the first time my new camera, the GFX 50R. It's a medium format camera, 50 million pixel. And um, because it's mini format, it's got a really big pixel, but I have a very wide angle lens on it, which is uh, a 3264, which is the equivalent of a, I would say 2450 or something. And then I got this, I got this. This is my Sony even R3 with a 70 to 300, so I can really compress with that. What is annoying is that you see, it's kind of nice there, but check this out. Look how the clouds are really nice here. But then if you shoot this way, you don't get the lines. I, I want to get the lines uh, to the tree. And there, to the tree, there's almost no clouds. So, you know, it's, that's the life of photography. You have to, you know, you have to find the right composition and the right light. The beautiful light is here, but the right composition is here. So we'll see. So I'm pretty happy for the first night. We didn't have great clouds, but I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna get up really early and we're gonna take some more photos. Okay, so we got up at five in the morning and we are gonna look for original composition. We did a classic shot last night and now we're just gonna take a really nice road and see what we can get. Look at this, we have uh, one tree, the mountain, we have everything. I'm literally running to this place. Look at this, look at that sky. Look at this lavender. Well, I'm gonna try to position myself right in the leading line of the tree here. So that's my first framing here, uh, right on the ax, right on the, uh, on the tree. Let's see what we got. The sky is incredible. Let's see if I can get the exposure correctly. Check this out, that looks amazing. So I really got that shot. Now I'm gonna try to uh, 
maybe shoot this way because look at that cloud i always look for the cloud it's incredible and i'm going to try to get that cloud in the background okay i'm running because i want to get the view from the other side the sunrise is really nice this morning so i came here but this view is uh is less exciting for me because uh, there's a little lonely tree over there, but it's very small and we can't really see it. And I was just attracted by that cloud. I don't think this photo is gonna work. So to really make a photo, we need three things. We need a good foreground, which we have with the lavender, but we need also some like middle thing, like a, a house or a lonely tree. And this one is too far. And then we need a background, which we have with the sky. So I don't think this one is gonna work. That's a perfect middle ground and a perfect sky, but we need something in the foreground. You know, I wish this lavender would have that tree, you know, at the end, but we'll do it. So uh, we got some really nice things this morning. I think we got a great sunrise. I've been shooting with my uh, Fuji and my Sony, uh, both. So I use the Sony at, uh, with my 70 to 300 so that I, I can really uh, focus, you know, zoom in a lot, 70 to 300. And I have like the equivalent of like a 28 to 50 on the Fuji. It's not ideal to be honest, but I love the Fuji colors. They look amazing. Uh, you know, the middle format really gives uh, every chance to every pixel. So, okay, we're gonna move further because you know, sun has not even really rised yet. Right now we're just getting the sort of, uh, you know, the sunset colors, but we didn't get the actual golden hour that's about to come up. So we're gonna do that. All right, so now we are, uh, it's still sunrise, so we are gonna go and find another location completely randomly, just, you know, driving around and trying to find like a, a lonely tree, a nice field, uh, you know, a beautiful house, uh, you know, some old, some old stone, uh, you know, house and things like this. So yeah, one, one of the biggest difficulty I have is I wanna be like at five places at the same time. Like I always hesitate between like staying at one location, getting the best possible photo, or you know, once I'm kind of happy, then just to move and try to get another one. That's what I'm doing this morning. I hope it's gonna pay out. Okay, I think we found something uh, which I think could be interesting. Whenever you see a lot of photographers, usually it's interesting. Look at this, we get the sunrise right onto a couple of lonely trees. This could be it. So this is my framing now for the sunrise. We found this lavender field right where the sunrise, which is kind of crazy to think about. You know, shooting with my 70 to 300 on my left hand and on my right hand, I got a GFX 50S and let's see what we can do. Okay, so I think we're done for this morning. I mean, we're just gonna still, uh, it's still like 6.47 in the morning. So I'm gonna, breakfast is at eight. So we'll be shooting till eight and see what happens. One thing that is very important is to shoot at the right time. Like right now, I just, we came back to the same spot. We took some new photos and they don't look as great because I mean, it's still like seven o'clock in the morning. It's still very early, but like, you know, photography is all about catching that moment of light. All right, so after this shoot in the morning, I found this spot here that you can see in the back, there is like a little, you know, a little house there and uh, nice leading lines. But what I do is when I find a spot during the day, I look on uh, an app called Sunseeker and I can see where the sun is going to be. In a, and this actually is a bad spot for sunset, but it's a great spot for sunrise because the sun rises directly here. So that could be cool. at this location and it's not good because uh, this is not nice here and uh, so it's not gonna work you need to have like a foreground you need to have a middle ground and and then a background so background is gonna be the sky but the middle ground here is really not, not nice also I love the idea of having sunflowers and having uh, some uh, lavender so I stopped here too because there was a, I saw like a little house I thought that could be a cool middle ground but the problem is that that house is not in the middle of the lavender field so it's not going to work all right so this is another spot that we found but i don't like it because um, uh, the sun is going to sit completely at the opposite side so sometimes the east can look great but you know i love the leading lines that it is but you don't have, really have a middle ground 
it's just it's just a very nice feel like it's very well cut there's not too much other colors and i love that but i don't think it's going to qualify so let's keep on looking all right guys so i decided to come back to the same location we were yesterday because honestly it's the best location and you want to get the best possible photo it's like going to paris and you don't have the eiffel tower and it's important to have the Eiffel Tower. I mean, look at this place, it's beautiful. The way the lavender goes and the way it's rounded, uh, you know, the lonely tree that's behind me, it's just the perfect shot. So come and join me for this final day and let's get a great photo of this Valençol Plateau here. Okay, here we are, we are a little late, but uh, this is what we scouted yesterday. This little house there is where we're going. Uh, I love that framing was a house on a mountain, but that's it, no, no clouds this morning. The sun is gonna be rising over there and you know, I hope it's gonna give a nice light, but we don't know, we'll see. Okay, so here we are, the sun has risen. So you get a nice light on the lavender field, but it's not crazy good, you know, it's not amazing. You see, let me zoom in a little bit here. It's just, I love the mountains, just I wish it would be a few clouds, but you know, we'll see how it comes out in a retouching. So that's the last shoot that we did, and uh, voila. This is the end of this vlog. In next episode, I'm going to show you all the retouching that I did uh, to get all these photos. I hope you enjoyed this little journey with me. Uh, I love the lavender field. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we didn't get the best clouds, but what a place. It's beautiful. If you get a chance to come to Provence, you got to come here. It's incredible.